So even though we've just practiced rounding some numbers, let's go ahead and practice a couple more, but this time let's go two places to the right of the decimal. So when you look at the first problem, 9.177, if I'm going to go two places to the right of the decimal, I'm looking at the first seven, and it's the second seven that lets me know I need to round that first seven up. The number below that, when I start to look at that one, two places over would be the nine, and I'm looking at the digit after that, which is the six. The six tells me I do need to round my number up, which means I need to round the nine up, which kind of turns into a 10, crossing everything after that off. And so I'm gonna end up with 79.6. Continuing to go down, when I look at 9 elevenths, again, I have to change that one into a decimal. Oops, sorry. The one above could add a zero on the end. 9 elevenths, as I change it to a decimal, I then am going to look two digits over, which is the first one, look at the number after that, and decide that 0.82 is my two-digit rounded number. Moving back to the top of the next row, 23.18. Even though it's the eight in the second place, the number after it is not a five or larger, so the eight does not change. Now when you look at the number below this, 56.3, it's a blank that I need to be rounding at, and anything after that is blank. So really, I'm just gonna get 56.3. Because you're asked to answer with two places after the decimal, 56.30 is zero. Sorry, 56.30 is fine. Seven ninths, again, needs to be changed to a decimal number, and then rounding from there would give me 0.78. Now the last thing we want to do is we are going to be using some percentages in chapter two. So remember, to change a number to a percent, you move the decimal two places to the right. Also be sure that you know you might need to do some rounding. So for example, problem 1b, I'm asked to change that decimal number to a whole percentage. So first I move the decimal two places over, which gave me 13.572%. But now to answer as a whole percent, I'm going to end up getting 14%. So let's continue those directions with these problems on the bottom where everything is going to be changed to a whole percentage. Looking at that first number, 0.7236, move the decimal over 2, and then rounded. So the 0.72 had a 3 after it and stays 0.72%. Going down, again, I need to go for a decimal number, move the decimal two places over to get a percent, and then round based on that. And since it's an eight after the decimal, I do get 43%. For 4, 0 0.49, when I turn to 49%, there's nothing after that, so there's nothing to round up or down. I guess there's no such thing as rounding down, but you know what I meant. And for the last one, change to a decimal, go to a percent, and then with rounding, the 16.6% .6 would become 16.7%.